Welcome back. We are wrapping up Singapore Week here on KHUN2. We just want to say mahalo to all of the travelers out there watching who sent us their pictures of the beautiful island. Yes, now let's take a look at our last travel photo of the day. This picture was sent to us by Elaine Jackson. It's one of the many photos emailed to us. It's a view at night of the beautiful Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Beautiful. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. And that's where Trini was the other that's day. That's right. Now, yeah. we've seen a futuristic nature reserves, spectacular aquariums, and luxurious hotels. But what about food? The most important thing. Yes. <laughs> Singapore is not only a feast for the eyes for vacationers, but also a great place to grind. Trini Galpuiki takes us to a place where street food is world class. some of the best street food in the world. Now, these markets where vendors sell ready-to-eat food, they're called hawker centers. We're learning more about that today. I'm here with Maureen Au, who is a food blogger in Singapore. Maureen, tell us about these hawker centers. Well, hawker centers is our life because Singaporeans eat out so much that we always go to a hawker center to have our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we have about more than 300 hawker centers in Singapore. Terrific. And within these centers, you've got hundreds and hundreds of food stalls. Mm -hmm. Yes, hundreds and hundreds of food stalls. But you know what? Every store is different. And every store has their own supporters. So tell us about some of the different types of food that you can find here. Oh, Singapore food, we have like Chinese food, Malay, Indian, all in one roof. So you have chicken rice or you have Hokkien mee, means pork noodles, fish ball noodles. Whatever you want, we have it here. And what's so special about it is every store tells a story. Imagine if you go to a chicken rice store and they chop the chicken for you and hand it over to you. It's not just about food. It's about their culture, their history, and the recipe that's passed down from generations to generations. Now, I know the food at these hawker centers are inexpensive. They're very affordable. About how much are we, are we looking at? $3. Yeah, and you don't have to tip. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good price. I like that. It could make your uh, travel here to Singapore very reasonable. Yes, definitely. Because here, what you get is our culture. And you can have a very good meal at only $3. Imagine if it's three meals, that will be only nine dollars. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. What are some of the most popular stalls? Popular stalls in Hawker Center? Well, chicken rice is definitely one of them because that's our national dish. And as well as, well, honestly, yeah, all the stalls are popular because if you are not good, you can't be here. Maureen, thank you so much. Coming up this afternoon on Living 808, we're going to show you where you can get the cheapest Michelin star meal ever. Ooh. It's like a never ending food court. Yes. I think I would stress out if I went there because where do you begin? You know? Everywhere. <laughs> that looks awesome. I think I'd stress because I'd be so full at the end. But still wanting to, to eat more and more and more, right? <gasps> oh, that's, that's dangerous. <laughs> All right, coming up next, don't know what you're going to be doing this weekend? We've got you covered. That's